Um, all right, well, let me show one other th video that we have here. And Jared, you're going to have to talk us through this. Yeah, okay. So um, before we start this, I'll caveat this. The only way I was able to record oops. PC gameplay was to use Camtasia to record a screencast of my screen. So that means that any of the PC-based footage you're seeing in this sizzle reel that Chris is about to play is at around less than 30 frames a second. So mm. don't base what you see in this video about the in-app experience of FX2. It is definitely not this janky. It is. This is purely just illustrative purposes to show the difference between the Quest 2 build and the Oculus desktop PC build and the differences in graphics fidelity on the two and yeah. visual effects. That's what this is for. Okay. So let's start it up and have a little So look. this first thing I think Jared wanted to show the difference between the solar flares that happen. Yeah. So that's the PC on the left and that's Quest on the right. Now, again, remember that uh, it's pretty lossy, the video, but you get a little bit of extra sharpness. Now, if you go back down here and just pause it for a minute, okay. Um, what I was showing here, just go back like another like 10 seconds or so. It's it's hard to see um, in the video, but on the left-hand side, the rings that light up, you get a little bit of light casting onto oh, okay. the, the apron, whereas okay. on the Quest version, the Quest 2 version on the right, you don't get any of that light casting from the rings. So it's it's a graphical sacrifice they've made from the PC version with you know a really big video card. I'm running an RTX card in my gaming laptop that's powering this. So of course you're going to see differences in in effects based okay. on the hardware you're running. All right, let's see. So see how there's like a, a sort of like oh, a, I see what you're saying. Yeah, how they light like up. A shadow effect. Yeah, yeah. So there's, there's a like a stage shadow effect there. Okay. So and you also see that the the lights. It's a bit hard to see on the left hand um, on the PC view, but the the lights. Um, on the play field actually have like a, a holographic effect above them. Mm -hmm. Whereas on the Quest 2 hardware, you lose that holographic effect, except for when you're in some of the modes where the spider is shining um, a scanner on the Mars symbols. You oh, okay. get the holographic effect then on, on the right view, which is a Quest view. Okay. Yeah. So what I'm doing here is I'm setting up a side-by-side -side shot to try and get the center up kicker. And then you'll notice on the left, um, the the time was just off on that one with the effects. So the when it shoots in the up kicker, you might just want to back it back frame by frame a little bit until it actually just goes before it's about to up kick. Um, there you go. So see where the bloom is in the um, a little bit more um, back. back. Yeah, just so you can see it when it just fires the 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 actual bloom effect in the in the up kicker um, at the back of the table there I don't know if you can get it to that point but there's a um, point where it just launches the ball and on the left hand side in the PC build you get this really nice light casting effect from the uh, eruption of the ball up through that up kicker whereas on the right hand side you don't really get that effect so much All on right, the question so let's look at that up kicker which is right up here folks. Yeah, so just keep your eye on that on the yeah. left hand side and the right hand side. So setting up the shot, it's going to kick it up there, put it down the the lane, and then I'm going to shoot it up and watch the up kicker. You get a nice oh, I see of light. You gotcha. see? Yeah. So there's definitely a, a loss in some of these effects from PC to Quest 2. So the Quest 2, again, it's running an Android based system. It's running a Snapdragon XR2 chip in it, which is a VR chip that Snapdragon produce. Um, so you're running essentially an Android build of FX2. But here's the great thing. Like I've just shown you there, Oculus allows you to, uh, for some games who have cross-buy experience turned on, like FX2, if you have a gaming PC, which is Oculus compatible and a sync cable for the Oculus Quest 2, you plug it into your um, laptop or gaming PC and you can play the PC experience for free um, and like have the best of both worlds. So if you want all the, the shininess that you get in the PC build, you can get that for free. Or if you just want the, the, the carefree 
experience of not having wires tethered to your device and not having to fire up your PC and you just want to play, well, you use a mobile build and you just get straight into gameplay. Like the the smoothness of the ball and the gameplay itself, like the actual physics, the 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 way the game feels doesn't change. It's just a little graphical downstep and that's it. So the the essence of the game between PC and Quest 2 isn't lost mm. from that perspective. And that's that's really nice the way they've done that. Um, the other two games are not available on Quest 2. Um, so you have to play those through PC. There's no other option. 